I'm really excited to put out this video and to pray because it's just like, I love to do it. It feels like what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, I'm like excited. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Something I want to do is start off the week with prayer every week and really reflect and meditate on what God may be saying. Man, it feels so good to be like praying for other people again. Like I know y'all want me to just get started and I know I want to get started too, but I just have to say like, it's something, I don't know if I'd necessarily call it a gift. It doesn't feel like comfortable to say that, but it's something that God put on my heart to do, to pray for other people. And it almost feels like stifling to not do it for me. And so it feels so good to be on here, like on YouTube. And I'm really excited to put out this video and to pray because it's just like, I love to do it. It feels like what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, I'm like excited. Now that my rant is over, let us pray. Gracious and heavenly Father, first I just want to thank you, God. I, I want to thank you for every single person who's under the sound of my voice right now, Father God. I want to thank you for who you've created them to be. I want to thank you just that you know them individually by name, Father God. You created them. You formed them in their mother's womb, Father God. You knew they had a purpose and a plan, and you had a plan for their life before they even got here, God. So I just want to thank you for that, for just your intentionality, for your love, Father God. And first, I just want to, I just want to say how we, we, we adore you, God. We just, we adore you. We love you. You're such a loving father. You're so kind. You're so patient with us, God. You have so much patience, Father God. And you have so much love, and it never runs out. It never gives up on us. It never fails, Father God. I just want to thank you for reminding me of that today, that your love never fails. And... You are just always ready to give. You're always ready to forgive, Father God. And I want to thank you for that. And right now, Father God, I just want to come before you admitting our need for you, Father God. This walk of life is just, it's impossible to try to keep doing on our own, Father God, because we have, we have, we have a void in our heart that, that's created just to, to be filled by you, Father God. So I just want to ask for your forgiveness in this moment, for trying to replace, try to replace that spot, that void with other things that will never fulfill it, Father God. Just, I just want to thank you, God, that, that you constantly find ways to remind us of your presence and of who you are and of your power and of your strength and just that that you are always there for us father god and so i want to thank you for constantly being there father god i want to thank you for a new year for a fresh start for a new beginning father god for a new for, for new doors that are going to open in this year father god I, god i just pray that you would bless us indeed everybody under the sound of my voice enlarge our territory father god and keep your hand upon us and keep your hand on us and let let no evil harm us father god i just want to pray the prayer of jabez over every single person father god i pray that you would enlarge their territory everyone under the sound of my voice father god i pray that we would reach new ground today that we would explore new territory and that we would just reach new heights that we don't even know, Father God. We know that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard all that you have planned for your sons and for your daughters and for those who love you, Father God. So I just want to pray for anybody who feels directionless or that they don't know their purpose or that they that who feel stuck like they're in the wrong place father god i ask for that supernatural push that supernatural nudge and those that supernatural love those loving arms father god 
that you would wrap them around somebody right now and just remind them that they are your son, that they are your daughter, and that you know what's next. You know the next step. You have something planned for them and you love them. If nobody else in the world has shown them that they love them, just remind them right now, Father God. I pray that you remind them that you love them, you created them, and you are for them, never against them, Father God. So I just wanna thank you, Father God, for, for, for that promise that you love us, Father God, that you'll never leave us, that you'll never forsake us, Father God. Even at times of world, world where we question, where are you? Where are you, God? I feel alone. I don't know what's next. I'm scared, God. In times that we feel like that, Father God, I just pray that you would continually, you would continuously be our comfort, our peace, our strength. And I thank you for that peace, that peace that surpasses understanding at all times, Father God. So, Father God, I just, I, I, I thank you. I thank you again for a new chance, a new year, a new day, a new week. Father God, I thank you for this week. I just pray and declare victory in every area of everybody's life that is under the sound of my voice, whether there are issues with finances, Father God. I pray that that we would continuously take steps towards financial freedom. I just I just ask for victories in the area of of family, Father God. For anybody who is having a rough time with family, anybody who has who's having a, who's having any issues, anybody who's dealing with just a, any tumultuous situations within their family, Father God, I just ask for your healing. I ask for your restoration, and I ask for a solution, Father God, and for peace where it seems like there is total unrest and chaos, Father God. Father God, you don't guarantee that we won't have storms in life. You actually say in your word that we will experience these valleys, Father God, but you promise that you will be with us, Father God. And I know that that anyone under the sound of my voice who is experiencing issues with their family, they will push through and they will make it, Father God, and you will give them peace in the middle of the storm, Father God. I know you're faithful to do this, so I wanna thank you, God. And I wanna ask you, Father God, just, just to be someone's comfort right now and to be their help, Father God, and just to remind them in the ways that you do, that you are with them no matter what, Father God. God, I thank you for this new week. I thank you for it, this new chapter. I thank you for the year 2020. This will be the year that's that, that, that's, that's, uh, that, this will be the year that somebody listening right now will finally be consistent. This will be the year that we will be disciplined. This will be the year that we stop putting things off and procrastinating. This is the year of focus. This is the year of purpose. This is the year of intentionality, Father God. I just declare these things right now because I know you are faithful to bring them to pass, Father God. You say write the vision and make it plain. Write the vision on tablets and make it plain, Father God. You say this in your word for a reason in Habakkuk, Father God. You say this because vision is powerful and when we see it, Father God, we are that's an act of faith writing it down father god that's an act of trusting trusting in you father god so help us to take more steps in faith and to 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 not put off things anymore that we know that we can get done and let's help us to not put off anything till tomorrow that we can get accomplished today help us god give us that supernatural that divine push father god i just pray that anyone who hears me right now would experience your love, your kindness, your peace, and your encouragement to carry them throughout the week, Father God. And Father God, just, I ask that you would keep us grounded. And at the end of the day, that you would keep us grounded and rooted in you and remind us always what is most important and that is fellowship with you that is knowing you deeply knowing that no matter what we're doing father god we can be a blessing to someone else at work at school at the grocery store 
out in public, no matter where we are placed, God, on a random phone call, no matter what happens, Father God, we can show the world who you are. We can show Jesus to the world, Father God, through our interactions, through our work ethic, through laying down our lives. To just stretching to stretching out our hands to you and really fully being dependent on you father god i pray that you would stretch us this week i pray that you would mold us this week father god i pray that you would make us new creatures father god you make all things new i thank you for your divinity i thank you for your strength. I thank you for your power, Father God. I just I just feel in the spirit, Father God, that you are just breaking chains, Father God. You are breaking cycles. You are breaking generational curses, Father God. Molds are being broken. Chains are being broken. Walls are being torn down. This year is different, Father God. This is a year of breakthrough for somebody under the sound of my voice. This is a year of breakthrough. I pray that someone under the sound of my voice would be able to let go. Let go of a past situation. Let go of a past trauma. Let go of a past hurt. This is the year that someone is going to break free from what is holding them back and holding them down. This is the year that somebody is going to be focused, Father God. I just thank you and I just declare in your mighty name, Father God, that this is the year that that somebody is shaking off what has held them down. They are letting go. They are breaking the cycle. They are breaking through. They are pushing through. They are letting go of what has kept them bound over the last five years, the last 10 years, the last 20 years. Father God, it's over. It's done, Father God. And you have won the victory. They have won the victory. So I thank you, Father God, that this is possible through you. You are such an awesome father. You are such a loving father. You are just a way maker, a miracle worker, and you get the glory in every situation, Father God. All things are all things are possible through you, Father God. And anything that the enemy intended for evil, you can work together for my good. For you, for whoever is, for their good, for whoever can hear me right now, Father God, I pray that you would remind them that you can work a situation out. You can turn any situation around for their good. You can literally make a complete 180 at any moment out of any situation. Nothing is too big for you to handle. And I thank you that you are so faithful to keep that promise. Lord, I ask all of these things, all of these things, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Wow, that was a powerful moment. I had a moment there where I just, <laughs> I thought the prayer was going to end, and I just felt like the presence of God. Like, no, you are not done yet. So I hope this prayer reached somebody and someone felt it the way I felt it and that it just kick starts your week off right or no matter when you're hearing it I just pray that it's a blessing to you and um sorry I'm a little shiny <laughs> I pray that you have an awesome week um I pray that you are a blessing to somebody else this week in some way and if you were at all impacted by this prayer or you know somebody who could use a prayer to get through the week, uh, I'm just asking that you share it with them. If anybody's on your heart or in your, in your mind when you heard this prayer, I just pray that you would share it with them. And um, yeah, just keep the prayer going. I love you guys and I hope you have an awesome week. I already said that, but just want to say it again. See you guys in my next video.